everyone, my name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, happy Friday. Welcome to a weekend of Jenna being stressed. Welcome to the start of yet another weekend reading vlog. Hi, hello. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all thriving and, you know, surviving, because what else can you do? Today, the day that you are currently watching this is a very exciting day because not only is this vlog going up for you, but there's also my official announcement for a little luck going up today. Literally the same time. I don't know if you watched that first and then came here or watching this first and then going there, but it's it's live. Go watch it. Then you get to see my cover <laughs> for a little luck. The cover for a little luck is out in the world. I'm so excited. I'm so pleased. I'm so excited. Oh God, oh, there's so much going on right now. August is just... <sighs> I'm at the end of my tether. Almost, almost at the end of my tether. But this weekend is going to be a lot. Why? Because for some fucking reason, past Jen thought she could get part three, four, and five of A Little Luck done in three days. I don't know where she was, I don't know what the fuck she was doing, but <laughs> I'm going to be working on that pretty much exclusively this weekend. Tomorrow I do have a housewarming to go to, so I did in my head, I knew Saturday wasn't going to be a day that I could work for like hours and hours and hours on A Little Luck. So again, I question Jen's three-day allotment for part three, four, and five, but I digress. Um, I have two days after this that are like extra days leading up to my deadline of the 16th, which is Wednesday, I do believe. But Monday night, I do have kind of like a fireside chat with Margaret Pennard here on YouTube. And then on Wednesday, which is my deadline day, I have a Stygian interview with Holly Rannon from, from the Stygian group, the Stygian Collective, if you will. I think that's actually what it's called. <laughs> I'm looking forward to chatting with them, but it kind of, you know, those two nights are going to be cut up a little bit, a little interesting, but hopefully this weekend I get a lot of work done. It's fine. I'll be fine. We're, we're fine. We're fine. It'll be fine. But yes, yeah, so this weekend, I do have my friend's housewarming party tomorrow, and then I have book club on Sunday, which stress because that was decided literally today. So I haven't read that book because I thought we were gonna like have enough, like a week before, like, you know, scheduling. I thought we were gonna have enough time for me to like squeeze it in. Mm, nope, I gotta squeeze it in on top of all the editing. So I'm a little stressed, but it's fine. I have extra days built into my schedule for situations just like this. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, so that book that I'm going to be reading, I'm going to be starting it tonight. It's quarter to nine, so I'm going to work on A Little Luck for another like hour 15 because there is a scene that I want to try and fully write after I'm done talking to you guys. I gotta, I actually have to finish editing a really large chapter that I've just created and then add that new scene. So I gotta, I, I want to do that tonight before I call it on editing for tonight. Then I'm going to dive into that audiobook because it also is Friday. It's the end of the week, so I'm already like... I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with the week. My brain doesn't want to function anymore, but I do have to get some stuff done for a little luck. And then tomorrow, of course, I, w I need to go grocery shopping at some point because I need to get milk and bread and, you know, essentials. And I'm hoping that I can have my live stream tomorrow. I think I can because I know my friend's housewarming is, it starts at around five-ish. So I'm going to try and do my live stream tomorrow and we'll just make sure that I'm done um, with enough time. And it'll give me at least that a lot of amount of time to work on a little luck. And then Sunday, book club in the morning, but then all day, a little luck. Besides that though, once I'm done that book, which is called Icebreaker, by the way, my friend picked one of the TikTok hockey romances. She originally had something, I think it was Canadian lit on the list. And then she was like, nah, I don't want to be big brain. Let's just do a fun romance. I was like, nice. Okay. So it should be a quick read. Fingers crossed it's a quick read it's called Icebreaker. I don't know who it's by, but one of our other friends has read it and said it's amazing. So I don't have like super high hopes because it is a romance. So like I'm going in expecting like to have a good time, but not to like have my mind blown, you know? It's rare that a romance book blows my mind. So that'll be fun. But outside of that, if I do have time to read this weekend, which I doubt it, we'll see though, I will be starting Golden Sun by Pierce Brown, which is the second book in the Red Rising trilogy because I have started this for my series series video number three. So that's what I'll be doing with this. But yeah, it's gonna be a weekend, my friends. It's gonna be a weekend. I think tonight to like also relax at the same time as being productive after I finish my work on A Little Luck. I'm gonna play some like Stardew or something as I'm listening to the audiobook for Icebreaker. So we'll see how that one goes and I'll let you guys know how our chat is on Sunday morning. Anyways, 
this weekend. Welcome to Slightly Stressed Jen, but it's okay. We're gonna be fine. Hello, friends. It is 4 a.m. Welcome to me at 4 a.m. I think this is the latest I've ever been up in a vlog. <laughs> I just finished Icebreaker. I don't remember the author's name. And I'm... I'm irritated by it for a number of reasons. Reading this one, this is now the second romance book in a row that I've just been kind of meh about. Am I losing my touch with romances? These are questions for a more awake Jenna, but... I stayed up till four to finish it because I knew if I didn't finish it in one sitting, I was gonna have to fight myself tooth and nail to pick it up again tomorrow to actually finish it because I just didn't care enough. The couple in Icebreaker is so cute. Oh my god, and it was so sexy, but, but that's all it had in it. I just, I was so annoyed by the body and food control and, and I understand that was like the whole point of having like the abusive friend slash skating partner i just i hated it so much like the amount of food conversations and stuff and they just kind of skirted around the fact that homegirl has like an eating disorder and it wasn't actually addressed as an eating disorder it bothered me so much and the book lost all of its interest and in attention to me within the first 30 percent because the main couple was already like fucking as fuck buddies and there was no plot after that. Like I remember getting to a certain point and being like, okay, I feel like we're getting to the end of the novel. And I looked at how much time I had left on the audiobook and I was like, there's another fucking hour and a half left. What the shit could happen? Like they're already basically married. It's Christmas. They're loving on each other. Like what else could happen? And literally, oh, it was so, it just dragged. It dragged, it just, it had no core plot. And that drove me bananas. It truly drove me bananas. There's nothing driving the story forward. No, unfortunately that one was a no for me. It is so sad. There's so many of my friends like that book. I wonder if like the cuteness of the couple and the outrageous amount of sexy scenes, so many fucking sexy scenes. You could have cut like 30% of them and had a sh much more tight book that would have been over faster. So many goddamn sexy scenes. I wonder if it's those and how cute the main couple is. I wonder if that overshadows everything else for everyone else. Doesn't for me though. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep now, hopefully, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Hello friends, happy Saturday. I am here about to make my iced coffee and I wanted to pop in with more coherent thoughts about ice picker. <laughs> All I said last night stands. Like the, the overall impressions of Icebreaker are it wasn't that great. It wasn't plotted, it wasn't paced well. It didn't really have any plot other than the sexiness, their relationship, which is fine. I get that that's what most romance books are. They don't have a lot of plot outside of that, but because we had the main characters basically alleviate any romantic tension between each other by fucking so early in the book. It just, it was nothing. It gave me nothing. It just, uh, so many sexy scenes to the point where I was like, okay, I got, I got it, I, I got it. <laughs> There's been enough. I don't need more. Please just get to the end of this fucking book. What, I think what really bothered me off the top, because quite honestly, if I wasn't reading this for book club, I would have DNF'd it at about the 30% mark because I, fun fact about me that I found out last night, I now do not like, or I find it really hard to read this kind of new adult romance. And I call it new adults because they're in college. And this is the kind of white people college that I didn't go to. Obviously I went to university up here in Canada and it was just for studying. I didn't party or anything, not my vibe, not my scene. But this, this fucking book was so juvenile <laughs> right off the top. Not like the book was juvenile, but like the people in the book were so juvenile, partying all the time, just getting into stupid fights over nothing and <sighs> just not having a good time. So that was num numero uno. And then the epilogue gave me 
such an ick. Immediately I was like, first of all, why? Because the last chapter we just got, which was a couple months later, was enough for a fucking epilogue. We don't need a two and a half years later when she's pregnant. No, not after having one. The fact that she says in this goddamn book, she doesn't want to have kids. She wants to adopt kids. And then she's pregnant at the end of the book. No, she said she wanted to adopt. She would be good with her birth control. She's smart. You know, just the fact that we had such a juvenile college age book for so much of it. And then suddenly they're like, white picket fence, have a golden retriever. She's pregnant and like an Olympic winner. And I'm like, please stop. You know, it was just too much positive things about the book. I said last night, couple was cute. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed them enough. Sexy scenes were sexy. The friends were all the same to me. I couldn't tell you who was who. Except for Lola, because she was lovely and she was the only girl. It's a very testosterone heavy book. Very white, very straight. Were any of the people gay? I think they tried to make the one ethnic guy gay. I could be wrong though, because I wasn't paying that much attention whenever the rest of the gang came on the page because they were just all one character in my head. And it was just hockey man. And listen, I'm Canadian. I understand the hockey hype. I get it. Hockey's just, sports are just are not for me. But this book gave me the ick for hockey. Yikes. <laughs> Anyways, so that was that. I didn't get what I wanted to get done on a little luck last night either. And I also worked for longer than I said I was going to work for. I worked until like 10, 30, 11. And then I started reading, which is why I was up till four <laughs> finishing it. I got two fairly large chapters edited, but I didn't get the scene that I wanted to write written so today in today's live stream which is happening in 45 minutes that is what i will be focusing on i'm gonna try get that scene written and i'm gonna try edit the rest of part three today because your girl fucked up on her schedule as we talked about yesterday that was my experience reading icebreaker i have yet to run it through cop but i will do so as soon as i sit down at my desk today we'll see what i end up rating it but it's not gonna be any higher than a three i'm feeling a two probably like when I first started it, I was like, this is a one star book for me. Like, this is so annoying. I can't handle it. But as you got through it, I was like, I can't give it a one star because it's not abhorrent. You know, like there's some merits to it, but I'll tell you what I rated it in a bit. I have no bread in the house, so I can't have toast. I'm going to have to have oatmeal this morning again because <laughs> I went to the grocery store yesterday. Anyways, that's going to get loud. So I'm going to call it here, call this update here, and I'll show you guys a little later. Sunday. It is noon. We're back where I was last night at 3 a.m. Sitting on my couch trying to get through fucking part three of A Little Luck. But that's fine. It's okay. It'll get done. I wanted to get done part three two days ago, but no. It's gonna be today. And then I'll get into part four. There's more like actual like scene writing that I have to do, which is taking me longer than if I'm editing. So that's all. I'm tired. I had book club at 11 this morning. So just an hour ago, just over an hour ago. And I overslept. Because of course I fucking did. I set like five alarms to get up at 10 and I guess sleepy me just decided to just sleep through them all. That's what happens when you're up till 3 a.m. I guess. It's fine. We talked about both Yellow Face, which was my pick two months ago, 
and then Icebreaker, which I read this weekend. And it was a good, it was a fun discussion. It wasn't like as usual as long as our, as our discussions usually go because a couple of us had things to do we needed to do today. I ended up giving Icebreaker two and a half stars, just so you know. Didn't really love it, didn't work for me for a number of reasons. Like I love romance books, but <laughs> this one just didn't do it for me. It wasn't the right flavor, it was a little bit too... I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. I think all my thoughts in this video have kind of, you know, summed that up pretty much. But I was the lowest rated. Friend Yelani gave it like three stars. And then it was a four and a four, I think. The other two really enjoyed it. And it was like, there were a lot of enjoyable parts of Icebreaker. But like, just as a whole, just wasn't for me. Which is totally fine. As I said, gave me the ick for hockey. Which, as a Canadian, shit's so sad. But, oh well. <laughs> On to the next, if you will. But yes, yeah, so today, the plan is to get through obviously the rest of the last three chapters of part three of A Little Luck and then get through part four. That is so many chapters, 10 chapters, possibly more because I might have to rewrite something. I think part four and part five are gonna move a little quicker. Hopefully I'm saying this, but that's what I'm gonna try to do today. I'm gonna try at least get through half of part four, but like the goal would be all of part four today so that tomorrow, Monday, I can work on part five and then Tuesday I can work on part five and then I'll be done by my deadline. <laughs> that would be so nice. Yes, my friends, that is what's going on. That's what's happening today. I would also really love to actually have time to like myself and to like watch some content or read because all I've had on my TV for the past three days are soundscapes. I've not even let myself have Gab Smolders on the TV because I will get distracted by her fun content. I've had just soundscapes because that's the only thing that apparently my brain can work with, which that's, I guess that's fine. But yeah, I've had the same soundtrack in my ears for days. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. I will take a break a little later so that like once I'm done a lot of this stuff and I feel like I need a break, I might go out and go to like the thrift store or something just so I get out of my place. Because I realized yesterday <laughs> going to my friend's housewarming, which was fantastic. It was so lovely. Their house is beautiful. And there were so many of us there, but it was just so nice to just sit around. Like I love my friends so much. Just sitting around doing nothing with them except for just talking is one of my favorite things in the world. But yeah, I realized as I was walking out of my place yesterday, that was the first time I had been outside side in four or five days. I have been in this 600 square feet for a week. I need to, I need to go out and do something. But yeah, yesterday was the first time I've, I've left my house in a while. So I need to go out and do things, I think, is the moral of the story. That's what we're doing today. I might wanna go to the thrift store, see if they got any fun books. Really like to start reading Golden Sun today because my plan was to have this reading vlog, uh, the series, series number three, go up on Friday, but that's not gonna happen now. So I gotta, I'm gonna have to film something fast and spicy for Friday. We'll see. Hopefully I can get this up then for the following week. But I actually need to read Golden Sun and then Morning Star, which is what you are currently sitting on. But I would love to read something in this vlog that isn't a romance book that disappointed me. It didn't disappoint me. I just didn't like it very much. That's the update. Ooh, I also got Ancillary Justice from my friend. She brought it for me because I was at the bookstore recently when I got a couple new books. I was gonna pick up and uh, the Ancillary Justice new covers because they looked really cool, but I was like, I don't wanna pick up a book if I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. And so I was looking at the library and they didn't have a copy like available right away or like soon, it was like a, a couple holds down. And I was like, oh, I'll just ask my friends if one of them has it that I can borrow. So I now have this. So once I've done Golden Sun and Morningstar, I'm gonna try this, I think. Um, I also have the audiobook for Abaddon's Gate coming to me so sometime soon as well on the library, on my library app, my Libby app. So the audiobook for Ancillary Justice and Abaddon's Gate is coming in at some point. So I'm just apparently filling my August with sci-fis, which I'm not mad about, not mad about at all. I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm just, I'm procrastinating going into this now, but I gotta get the work done. I gotta get it done. So let's get the earphones. Let's get the music locked and loaded. Let's do this. Part three is finally fucking done. Oh my God. <laughs> it is raining but I want to go to the thrift store so we're gonna go. Let's go! <laughs> Hello friends, I'm home. Oh my god. What? A human motherfucking day. I cannot. That was a successful trip. 
I cannot show you everything that I got though because I have this exceptional idea and I've had it for a little while for Christmas gifts for my friends. I'm starting now, so I can't show you what I got them because they watch these videos. <laughs> Just know you are currently sitting on top of five of them. <laughs> and then I have one book here that I'm contemplating whether to give it to a friend or keep it and read it and we'll see. <laughs> We'll see if I decide to read it first and then give it to them, who knows. But uh, this is another one that I can't show you. But the four that I did get myself, I'm happy with. I, I got these absolutely adorable old covers of the original authorized Canadian edition of the famous heroic tale of The Lord of the Rings. I, I'm obsessed with these covers. I saw them and all three were there because I've seen these covers a few times, but all three were there. I had to. I had to. I guess this one's a little different. This one here is a little different. It's still like vaguely the same. I love them all. I love them all so much and they match in height on my shelves. It's gonna be great. I don't know if I'll be able to fit them on my shelves because I do have other editions, but we'll see. And then I hummed and hawed about this one. <laughs> this is a beefy hardback, but this is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This is another one that I hummed and hawed about getting my friends at as, <laughs> as well, but I just, I couldn't leave it there. So I figured might as well get it for myself and I'll read this. I remember when this was like super popular on the book world, so who knows? Have you read it? Is it good? Tell me. But yeah, what a haul. I also got a fun mug. I only picked up because of the size and because it's yellow, uh, but it's a University of Alberta mug. And it's a really pretty yellow, it has gold, but the size is perfect for my meaty hands. It just, it just, it felt right. <laughs> so I picked it up. It's, in the dishwasher. But yeah, what a what a trip! I am fully so it is so humid out. Oh my god! I was just I was just dripping in in Valley Village. Anyways, I'm gonna shower because I feel disgusting. And I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna take like an hour decompress, get back to writing. Let's do it. I'm also not going to mom and dad's because dad's currently on a flight, and mom just said that she doesn't want to do anything for dinner. I said, all right, well, I got leftovers here. That's what I'll eat. And she says, great. Leaves me more time to work on my book, which is amazing. <laughs> so happy. I'm done. I'm done part three. Now to dive into part four and see how far I get into that today. We'll see. Monday it is officially the end of the weekend and it's the end of my work day. <laughs> I am just about to kind of start thinking about dinner because it is almost five and I have a fireside chat with Margaret Pernard tonight which is very good and very fun. I look forward to it. I hope that it's productive as well because we're going to be doing like the whole the whole shebang with like interview and we're also going to do some like sprints i think so that'll be that'll be lovely and fun today just at the end of my work day because i've been sitting at my, my desk for the past almost hour now because i i'm done at four <laughs> and it's almost five but just now i've been doing a bunch of stuff for content and creation and stuff like that and branding so you have noticed that i've updated my youtube banner on my channel that's updated you can see the whole thing on our desktop I mean, it's it, not quite on a mobile, but you can see the whole thing on a desktop. I've also updated my end screen for my YouTube videos, which you'll see at the end of this video. And then once I was done, I, I worked on some of the drawings for A Little Luck as well, the chapter headers and the part parts. <laughs> I'm like going back and forth between wanting to do a fifth chapter header like I had for a second story or just keeping it at four because I currently have four designs. They're all tankards for the chapter headers this time around, which I think is kind of fun. Different kind of tankard vibes. And then the part images are fun. We have 
the artifact, we have some puppets, we have some trees, we have knitted gloves, and of course we have Kier's loot. They all mean something, they're all something in the book, so that's kind of fun and spicy. Where I'm gonna put all those in the, in the book, I don't know, but that's okay. <laughs> well, I do know where like the knitted gloves one goes because it goes with the part title. And I know where the uh, puppet one goes because that goes with the last one because that's like the start of the festival. Fun facts. But yes, other than that, this weekend has been productive. Tonight, I'm gonna try and finish up part four and start part five and then hopefully tomorrow I can wrap it. But I do have three more, two more days, not counting today towards my deadline to get this draft done. So I would like to do that, finish it up. And then I would like to take a break for a day because I have a day in my calendar that's just break, which I'm very excited about. Anyways, let's talk about what I've read this weekend. So I started off on Friday reading the book club book, which was Icebreaker by Hannah Grace, which I ended up giving two and a half stars. And the conversation at book club was Sunday morning. I think it was a pretty good conversation. We had fun. And I think it was generally like a, nobody hated it. I didn't hate it. It wasn't that bad. I just didn't love it. You know, it just wasn't for me. It seems to be for a lot of people. So do with that what you will. And then last night when I decided to finally call it quits <laughs> on editing a little luck, I decided I was going to finally just chill for the rest of my Sunday. And I started reading at about 11. I started reading Golden Sun and I am 120 pages in, just past part two. And so far, you're gonna have to wait for my thoughts because this is for my series series vlog. I was about to tell you all my thoughts and I was like, wait, hold on, that's for a different vlog. <laughs> I could have also saved the A Little Luck stuff, but they're like nothing really else has happened except for A Little Luck stuff this weekend. So, but alas, that is kind of how it is this weekend. Hopefully next weekend I get some more reading in outside of vlogs and stuff like that. Then I'm just reading what I'm enjoying or, re or hopefully I read something that I'm really enjoying and that I can share all my thoughts with you. All right, my friends. So today, if you have not yet seen the day that this video is going up for you guys on Tuesday, August 15th. There's also a cover reveal and like an official announcement for a little luck going up. I think I mentioned that earlier in this. That's also up, so definitely go watch that. Go add a little luck into Goodreads and go pre-order the ebook if you wish to. All that good stuff. Go love the cover. Go love on it. It's so pretty, you guys. I'm obsessed and I cannot wait to see it in person. I cannot wait to see it in person. It's gonna be so good. Anyways. I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this weekend. It's been lovely, and I will catch you in another one very soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.